Protoss and Colossus. Look, okay. That is my least favorite part of this ban list is Protoss and Colossus, as you can see here, are now limited. Um, I think my prediction is that you guys are entirely overreacting to these cards. Um, both of these cards are good cards, and I am scared of these cards. However, I think that they are not going to be relevant, hopefully. Um, because both of these cards require you to build your deck around them in a much bigger way than people want, right? Colossus can be made with Cupid Pitch. Yes, Colossus can be made with Cupid Pitch. Do you know what else can be made with Cupid Pitch? Like, probably five different FTKs. Like, the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! You guys have to understand, the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! has... So many possibilities. You can literally go on YouTube right now and probably find like 10 different FTKs with just Armageddon Knight. <laughs> like, these combos are possible. Yes, you can. I've even seen, I've seen someone say, hey, I can make Colossus in my branded deck by activating and resolving branded fusion, sending thunder dragon dark from the deck to the graveyard to then later on banish it with albion banish the thunder dragon dark search hawk discard hawk summon back dark and make colossus brother just play the game normally. Trust me, it's better. Just play the game normally. This stuff is not better. This does, this does not make your deck win more when you go first. Why are people so addicted to not playing Yu-Gi-Oh? I don't get it. I genuinely don't understand. You make your deck worse to summon a floodgate. Also, we didn't even talk about the fact that you can just send Gimmick Puppet Nightmare and actually win the game. Like, holy shit. Like, I'm not saying, and once again, I, I hate to repeat myself. Uh, actually, sometimes I love to repeat myself. I do that a lot. Anyways, um, I'm not a fan of Protoss. I'm not a fan of Colossus. Both of these cards, I would have preferred to stay banned. But I, I simply don't think that they're going to be relevant enough. I simply don't think that you're going to actually play thunder dragon dark and thunder dragon hawk in branded i don't think you're gonna go for some crazy cupid pitch combo lines to make a colossus because cupid pitch already has broken targets like you can already do crazy stuff with cupid pitch is that meta relevant no it's not because it's gimmicky you can like go into some weird arc nemesis uh you can go like nemesis flag to with like it's a pyro so if your deck can make like uh you like you have to like play Infernal Banshee, which is a rank four, and then you go add Nemesis Flag to summon itself when you have a banished card, and then you can summon Protoss and call Dark and hope your opponent's deck plays Dark because God forbid they play a fire deck and don't draw Diabell Star because they're still gonna cook you. Like, you're not gonna do that. You are simply not gonna do that in competitive Yu-Gi-Oh. You can declare fire, yeah. And then what if they're what if they're not playing specifically Snake Eye? Those two don't do anything in Master Duel. Why should they be broken in the TCG? So I look, I think that that in particular is not a great argument. I'll stop you right there. In theory, you're right. Like it, it because these two don't really see any play in Master Duel. It does prove to an extent that they are not super problematic. But at the same time, Master Duel is it's. These sort of gimmicky combo lines are less powerful in Master Duel because um, Maxi exists and also because it's best of one so you don't know what your opponent is playing for like to know whether it's worth it to make Colossus or to summon Protoss and what to call with it. So my prediction uh, is that the I think the most likely way for these cards to see play is maybe 
Um, like, I mean, Protoss would be played in Sword Soul, but Sword Soul is not going to be that good, especially without Baron. So that's like, I'll, um, that aside, um, as like a splash in whatever deck can do it, I think maybe you could think about side decking these cards if you know what your opponent is playing for going first, which is going to be annoying. Yes, that is going to be annoying. But um, I, I think that's going to be the, 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 the biggest extent to which these cards uh, will see play. Bonfire can search Nemesis Flag. Yeah, do you know what Bonfire can also search? Let's let's try and think, chat. With our combined, if we put our minds together, maybe we can figure out a card that Bonfire can search that's better than Nemesis Flag. I can't think of one right now. I can't think of one right now, but maybe you guys can. I don't know. Flamvel Fire Dog. Yeah, that's the one. I can also just bonfire for volcanic uh, volcanic wrath. Yeah. I know, I know that this is a fun part about Yu-Gi-Oh, right? I know it's a fun part to figure out crazy combo lines and all that kind of stuff, but at some point you need to stop and think to yourself, hey, is this better than what like the other decks do? Is this better than alternative things? Is this better than what meta decks do? The answer a lot of the time with this gimmicky stuff is no, because most of the time it makes your decks just worse. Because so often you're going to draw Nemesis Flag without a way to combo. You're going to draw Protoss without a way to fill your graveyard. You're going to like draw your Thunder Dragon Hawk in your branded deck and you're like, oh God, why is this here? Um, all that kind of stuff, right? But it's funny. Yes, I guess it is funny, but it's like we're talking about meta relevance here because people are genuinely scared of these cards right now. And I'm trying to talk about that, right? Um... If you want another prediction about both of these cards, and I, that's this is specifically why I don't like the fact that they unbanned them, even though I think they are mostly going to be irrelevant. Um, I think another prediction that I have is that at some point in the future, even if it's not right now, these cards could become problematic because maybe there is a deck where uh, or a format where these combos are not gimmicky. You know, maybe at some point they make a deck that makes <laughs> no it's not <laughs> maybe there's gonna be a format at some point where maybe that deck just spits out rank fours for infernal queen banshee so easily or so freely that it actually makes sense to play that line in it or maybe there's a deck that can make Colossus without even making Cupid Pitch to search Nemesis uh, Corridor, right? Maybe they make a Thunder deck that activates something in the hand, right? Who knows? And then suddenly Colossus becomes a problem. And I think then, I think the most likely fate for these cards is that they're going to be irrelevant for a long time and then eventually they're going to have to be banned again because they simply aren't good card design. Um, so... I guess I'm somewhere in the middle. I guess I'm I guess my I guess my take on these two is they are thankfully probably going to be very not very relevant for now, but they I can definitely see them being a problem at some point, so I think they should have stayed banned. Um and this is this is what kind of takes away from from this list that I think uh, otherwise was was pretty pretty good. Oh yeah. When Sword Soul gets a poplar, it's over. <laughs> Dude, not the Sword Soul Poplar, please. Sword Soul full combo is better without Baron, though, and they can stop Nip with Chaofeng. Anyways...